Senior, Sales Partner at Unity Homes, Laban Tanui. Laban, karibu, karibu sana. Asante. So you've been there since the inception, huh? Yes, 2014 is when we started. Uh, yeah. The company's been there since 2014. How did it start? <clears throat> well, um, the, the, the first project started in Eldoret, um, and I happen to have been one of the bankers in housing finance, mm -hmm. and that's where I met uh, the pioneer of Unity Homes, Mr. Letham. Yeah, so um, the, pro the, the vision was to start in Eldoret, of course, as they move uh, across the country. Yeah. So we're not only in Kenya, but we're also in Africa. Because the vision of Unity Homes is to build affordable quality homes across Africa. So we are in Alaro City in uh, Nigeria. Uh -huh. yeah. That's very ambitious. Yeah. Is it difficult? Is it challenging? Has it been challenging? Well, um, it, I could say the challenges are always there in every business, mm. but we're managing the challenges. Yeah. What has, I mean, in the beginning, uh, when, when you started, did you get the right financing? Did you, were you able to sell uh, your concept to the people? Yes. Uh, when we started in Loret, of course, it was a bit of a struggle, knowing that, uh, you know, that's a, um, the countryside. Mm -hmm. So we struggled, but we built about 250 units in Eldoret. Uh, comparing with our projects in Tartu City, Eldoret, we, it took us about four and a half years actually to finish the whole project in terms of sales. Oh. When we compare with our first phase in Tartu City, that's, um, Eldoret is 250 homes. It took us about four and a half years. When we came to Tartu City, the first phase, that's Unity West, 384 units. Eh? These are two and three bedroom apartments. We managed to sell it actually in under two years. Wow. And we saw that Nairobi was the place to be. And the demand is there? Oh, yes. The demand is there. Out of the 384, I can tell you uh, it's 100% occupied now. We've handed over all that. The yield in terms of um, uh, um, the capital gain. I mean, those houses were selling at 3.8 million, million at the beginning. Mm. They are now, you can get 7.5 to 8 million from the same unit. And that's 2019 to date. Mm. Describe your units and what kind of plot they sit on. So, so um, our project in Tartu City, where we are now, um, we are on 34 acres. And we're running three projects at the same time currently. So we have one bedroom, which is, uh, we call it Unity Blue or Unity One. It was actually launched last week. Uh, we had somebody from the British High Commission mm. who came as a guest of honor. We managed to hand over the first, the first, the first phase of the 600 units. And um, <coughs> in terms of yield, that is going at 35,000 shillings a month. Uh, for the sales, it's going at 5.7 million shillings. From 5.7 million shillings. For so one bedroom. For one bedroom. And now we have also uh, Unity East. Unity East is two and three bedroom apartments. That is 640 units. We've managed to sell about 80% of it. Wow. So far. Are they completed or not yet? Oh, um, we have completed like the first, about 85% of it is complete. Hmm. Yeah. And the ones that we have managed to hand over, we are now at over 90% occupancy. Wow. Oh yeah. And the rents for the uh, Unity East? The rents for Unity East is going at 58,500 shillings a month. How many bedrooms? Two bed. We also have a three bed. The three bed, basically what we've done is we've combined two two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So the rent is about 110,000 shillings. In terms of purchase, you buy at 19.5 million shillings from 19.5 million shillings. You remember there are two units. Right. Yeah, one unit is 75, I mean the two bedroom is 75 square meter. For a three bed or a four bed is 150 square meter. So it's double. Oh. Yeah. And those are they complete? Uh, yeah, I could say 85% of it is complete currently. Mm -hmm. But we still have a few, about 15% that we're working on. But the shelves are up. We're just doing now the finishes. If someone is interested, can they get uh, financing? Oh well, yeah. We have... Um, I, I wanted to talk about the KMRC. We mm have -hmm. a very cheap mortgage in, in this country. Oh. I really want Kenyans to understand. We have mortgage a refinance. Yes, so you can actually get a mortgage through. We are in partnership with APSA as we speak now. Mm -hmm. So you can get a single digit interest rate on a mortgage. And um, through, of course, it's a subsidized mortgage through World Bank. Right. But they're channeling it through the commercial banks. And in this case, we are partnering currently with APSA Bank. You can get it at 9.5%, up to 10.5 million shillings, and uh, you're given a 25-year payment plan. Wow. You can imagine. So it's fixed for 25 years? Oh, yeah. 25 years payment plan, and it's that, that, that interest is fixed 9.5%. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. 
I think the people know about this. Are you making noise about this? We are making noise. We've started now making noise. You, you, you know, for people to understand even that KMRC. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, it's taken a while, but they're doing the sensitization now in the country. Mm -hmm. And for us, we see an opportunity as unity homes. This is the place that we can really sell all our units. Uh, we're talking about selling almost 100 units a month. It's possible with these opportunities now. Because imagine 10.5 million, like our projects, the two bedroom, and even the, the one bedroom, mm -hmm. we can easily get uh, many Kenyans who can afford uh, on that kind of uh, caliber. Tell me something, who is your average buyer? An average buyer, mm. I would say, is a, a two-bedroom. Okay. A two-bedroom is anything that is from 9.5 million shillings. And who are they? Are they 25, 30 mm. years old? Are they married? Are they single? Or do, you know, These are the guys who are just settling in life between 35 and, uh, I would say, 35 and 45 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even the young ones. Now, for the one-bedroom, of course, we are targeting the, 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 the youth, I would say, the guys who have just been employed. Uh, who, are, who are able to pay like 50,000 a month. Mm -hmm. um, who are able to commit 50,000 a month towards a mortgage. Towards a mortgage. Yeah. And they'll have that home in 25 years. Exactly. Wow. And, and something to mention there, Jeff. Um, imagine you're earning a rental income, a yield of 35,000 shillings a month. Mm -hmm. You have this mortgage that you're paying 50,000 a month. You only have to top up 15,000 a month. Look at that. And I tell you, since our yield is growing almost at 6% every year, that would take someone five years. In five years' time, you've actually broken even. You have your unit growing at, of course, 16%. I would say so, because you see the yield has really grown every year. So the capital gain is growing. At the same time, you're just servicing. So the loan is paying itself from the rental income. Right. Yeah. But don't forget, you also have a rental income tax, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is how you... Uh, Iko, Iko. Uh, okay, are you welcome? Yeah, but it's good to comply, please. Yes. It's good to comply. Tell me, why invest with Unity Homes? Now, uh, I would say three major reasons. One is the quality of the product that we deliver as Unity Homes. When, I co when we compare ourselves to the developers in this country, always we, le we lead on the quality. And Jeff, when you get an opportunity, please visit our project in Tato City. Mm. The quality that we do is amazing. That's the first thing. The number two is, of course, the location where we are located. Mm -hmm. We are located right in the, the heart of Tato City. And those ones who have invested with us, I'll tell you, the first phase was renting at 23500 the two-bedroom. That's about four years, four and a half years ago. Right now, they are earning a rent of 44,500 per month. Double. Now you query. Hmm? You come to the ground, it's exactly what's happening on the ground. So you see, in four and a half years, they've managed to double the rent. So the thing that is assuring Kenyans is that you're getting return on investment and you're able to grow. I mean, the yield is growing because of the location. Right. And that's a plus for us. Yeah. The other part is, of course, as I mentioned, the quality. We do more than 300 quality checks in each and every um, um, unit that we're building. Before we hand over, we make sure that within ourselves, we, build, we, we, do, we do checks of more than 300 times. Wow. Yes. If someone wants to visit Tartu City, yes. is there a site visit? Do you, do you provide that? Oh, yeah. So we provide site visits. And actually, we are we are on, I would say, Monday to Monday. We operate from 8 o'clock to, to 6 o'clock in the evening. Every day, so plus, plus Saturday and Sunday. So anyone can just drive in? Oh, yeah, you drive in and just ask for Unity Homes. And we, but please take care of the speed. There we, we control speed, Jeff. Mm. Yeah, so for the, as soon as you get in, yeah. you're used to really driving at a high speed. Yes. Just slow down, especially when you get to the gate, the main gate. <laughs> use 20 kph that's it for a few distances and then 40 kph as soon as you get in at, i mean at first we used to complain about this kind of uh, this kind of stringent measure that, mm. that was put in mm. but we are appreciating because there are no accidents there are no incidences happening yeah so if you come with your big machine please just slow down 20 kph 40 <laughs> kph <laughs> and you're safe yeah yeah <laughs> Tell me, the biggest uh, concern for people who are buying homes is water sanitation. Yes. Tell us about that. That has been sorted out by Tatu City. Um, as you know, Tatu City is, of course, uh, a modern city that we have within the country. Mm. We have water in place. They have their own treatment plant. Water is 24-7. I live there myself. I have never lacked water. 
water is there throughout. In terms of, I mean, uh, the sewer line is all, all is done. Even when we had the recent floods in the country, there was no incident that we had even flooding in Tatu City. At all. Please pay a visit. Hmm? Someone to come to the ground and have a look. Drainage, Drainage is properly done in Tatu City. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, why should one consider real estate as an investment option? When you look at in terms of yield, I would say you earn more in real estate. So the property prices are still going up? They're going up. They're going up now. Despite all the... Uh, and, uh, the advantage we have when you look at it in the country, we seem to be doing better on the Kiambu side, Tato City. Hmm. Uh, the land that was going at about 25 million shillings uh, seven years ago, is now 100 million shillings. Mm. I will tell you, there's something happening there. You say that the other day we launched uh, the biggest uh, call center in the country. Yeah. That's CCI. Mm. That was launched by the president. And you see the very many investors, the American investors coming in. There are so many people coming into the country on Tato City investing there. When you're there, there are a lot of multinational companies which are setting base in Tato City. Look, they have created so many job opportunities. We have over 20,000 Kenyans working in Tatu City right now. So it's like the place to be. It is the place to be. It is the place to be, Jeff. And I have a product for you. Tell me. Talk of townhouses in Silver Hill. Mm -hmm. That is where you fit. Silver Hill, this is a three or a four bedroom apartment with a DSQ. It's about 218 square meter. It's going at 35.9 million shillings, cash buyer, or 44 million with a two-year payment plan. And that is where you fit, Jeff. Is it a double story? Is it a describe it's a, it's, it's a three, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, the London townhouse, kind of. So it's like two or three levels? Three, three levels, actually. So we have the ground floor, first floor, and, and, and second floor. Mm -hmm. The whole first floor is the master bedroom, the master bathroom. You can imagine. You, the whole first floor is just your room. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then upstairs? Upstairs we have, you can choose to have either a family room or you have, uh, uh, or you have three bedrooms upstairs. And then the ground floor, of course, there's a DSQ, the sitting room, the, um, the lounge, yeah. And the kitchen. The kitchen. Mm. Mm. And of course the utility room. And how much, uh, do I have a little garden outside? Yes, you have a garden. There's a garden from uh, 7.5 meters by 6 meters. And you'd be lucky, you might also get one that is like <laughs> three times. What I've just mentioned. Yeah, those are, we call them special units. Uh -huh. But there are very few remaining. Really? I think about two right now. Yeah. And the, price and lo yeah. the location of that project also is within Tato City. Uh, it's near Crawford International School. Uh -huh. yeah. And the beauty with us as Unity Homes, we not only build, but we help our investors to get tenants. And that's a plus for us. Yeah, because we have to assure you. The return on investment mm -hmm. so if we have through our community foundation we also manage the estates that we built i mentioned 10 years ago in eldoret we are still looking into that estate in eldoret yeah so we don't just build make money and move but we walk the talk and develop our people and how is that estate in eldoret doing is it thriving oh, it's the best now in eldoret really? in eldoret please jeff go to unity homes hmm. it's actually called unity gardens uh, on your way to the airport. Right. Yeah. I think I've even seen it. It's a nice place to be. This silver hill, how much are they going for again? 30? Well, 30, 35.9 million shillings as a cash buyer. A cash buyer is anyone paying within 30 days. Uh, we can, of course, extend to 60 days uh, on request by the purchaser. Yeah. Or 44 million shillings on a two-year payment plan. So you get like four installments within the two years, 25% at the beginning, in eight months, the 16th month, you claim the 24th month. Hmm. Yeah. What kind of amenities are there in uh, Unity Homes? Amazing. We have all the amenities that are required. You cannot do without a gym. We have a swimming pool, of course, a modern swimming pool. All our estates, we try and build these amenities. And we have a park, a beautiful park, hmm. that people really are able to relax in those parks. Yes. Do you have a supermarket somewhere? Yes, we do have a supermarket. We, there's a minimum. In every, in every development we do, there's a minimum. Yeah, it's a minimum. And imagine, Jeff, in the same um, location that where we are in Tatu City, you can actually walk to the CBD. So imagine going to Naivas, for example. Right. 
you walk to Naivas, do a shopping, and back to, to your house. Because in that we believe in live, walk, and play. Once you enter the gates, is it true to say that uh, I will not leave there? Once I enter on Friday evening, I won't leave there till Monday morning. It's a serene environment. Yeah. There's no noise, no pollution. It's a perfect place to be. And child friendly? Oh, yeah. We have even, uh, we've actually invested more in our, through our community foundation. We make sure that we build the community together by bringing children. Of course, through the children, they have a nice playground. Yeah. They even have like activities almost every weekend. But of course, when the schools close, is where we have more activities. Mm -hmm. yeah. If someone's listening to you for the first time and they want to get in touch, how would they do that? Oh, yeah. So, um, basically, what you can do is you can visit personally to um, where we are located in Tartu City. And I'm also going to share my personal line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm available 24 7. 24 7. As a salesperson, I'm available. Go oh. through. Go on. Can I give out? Yes, please. Plus 254-721-518885. That is my line. I've had it for the last 20 years. The biggest thing that I want to tell Kenyans is across the globe, even diaspora, accessing this single digit uh, interest rate, it's a blessing that we need to take advantage as Kenyans. Because it's not... Uh, it's, it's not... Because you know, when you look at the commercial rates now, they are 20, 25%. But yeah. look at this single digit, 9.5, 9% even in some banks. It's an advantage that people ought to take. And it's fixed? Yeah, it's fixed for the 25 years. 25 years. Yeah, up to 10.5 million shillings. Yeah, and some commercial banks are giving 105%. Financing? Yeah. Are you, um, are you getting... Uh, requests from the diaspora? Oh yeah, we're getting actually, um, that's our big market now. Our big market uh, on the diaspora team. I would say 50% of our sales are actually coming from the diaspora and it's growing. We have even a team as we speak now who are in the US. Myself, I'll be leaping to the US also in the next uh, 10 days. Mm. I'll be in Seattle and uh, Houston. Selling to Kenyans across. Encouraging them to invest back at home. Yes. Because we have the real product. Because what has been failing our diasporians is uh, the trust. Correct. But Unity Homes has lived to the test. We have had good experiences. We have, uh, we have a good CV, I would say, in terms of the delivery timeline, as you mentioned. We have done some delivery six months ahead of the timeline. Mm. And uh, I would say we have the confidence to sell even to diasporans because we leave the top. So far, we've completed more than 1,200 units? Yes. The, the goal is 1,200 mm -hmm. units have been complete and handed over. And uh, I would say we are at almost 90, 90, over 95% occupancy in all that. And the target is 3,000? 3, 3,000. We're here to build more houses. Why can't you help the government out in the affordable housing plan? Well, the government has its own uh, product. <laughs> we have our product. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll tell you because mm. our, our vision is our vision is to build quality and affordable housing across Africa. So the products that we have, as I mentioned, look at the 5.7 million GF. That's a, a, an affordable unit. Mm. Yeah, with that kind of a return. Yeah. How did you end up in Nigeria for Unity Homes? Um, that's a Laro city. Through it's actually a joint venture between uh, Unity Homes and Tatu. So Tatu City, it's a, it's a JV between um, Tatu City and, uh, and Unity Homes. So it was very easy because that word had already had land in Halaro City mm. and Unity Homes now came in to put in money. And how many units there? Um, they're doing about I think more than 500 units. Wow. Yeah. It's actually a replica of our Unity East uh, product. That's what we are doing in a lot of cities. Other than Nigeria, where else do you plan to invest? Uh, to um, our, our, the owners of Unity Homes have, have, are very ambitious. They, they plan to, across Africa, like we're looking into Ghana, hmm. yeah. Who knows, maybe, like, maybe Uganda at some point, yeah. You will never go wrong in real estate. Please come visit us and see for yourself we are located right in the heart of Tatu City, Nairobi, Kiambu County. Thank you.